right, Ron, thanks a lot. Well, in today's winning plate, have you ever heard of leaky gut syndrome? I've not heard of that. It could be the cause of many of your health problems and you don't even know it. Nutrition consultant and regular PTL contributor Leslie Bonshi is here to explain what it is and what can be done about leaky gut syndrome. Happy New Year, Leslie. Happy Good to see New you. Happy New Year, Lisa. Yeah, right. And that Great sounds topic like, oh here. my God, it's like <laughs> leaky, leaky gut. gut. You know, oh. How do you shore that up a yes, little bit? Yes, please. Well, <laughs> one of the things that we know is that people who do have this are what we call hyperintestinal permeability. Is okay. There's more things leaking leaving the gut that shouldn't. I mean, in the ideal scenario, yes. we have like this defense mechanism, the wall, the right wall. Okay. It's there, it's actually keeping things that should be in the gut there so that they don't get into the bloodstream. Gotcha. Unfortunately, if there are times that that wall breaks down for whatever reasons it does, then you have food, you have microbes, you have potentially toxic particles that may indeed be getting into the bloodstream and that indeed might cause some other diseases. Could some of what we're eating cause the leaky gut syndrome? Well, and interestingly, it's probably somewhat what we are eating as well as what we are not eating, not Ooh. having enough of that is part of the problem. And when we look at what are the consequences of leaky gut, it might be things like inflammatory bowel disease, it might be things like celiac disease, yes. it might even be rheumatoid arthritis and asthma and multiple sclerosis because they are all immune related disorders. And so, the good news is that there's a lot of things we can do and should be doing on a regular basis to keep this gut in check. I feel so like you're talking no to me about, about things <laughs> that I should be eating but I'm not. Okay, you brought some things here, so let's get started okay. maybe on this So end. the first thing is having enough fiber. That is critically important. Yes. It's kind of like the lasso to round up all of those errant particles to say you're not going anywhere. Let's keep in the gut and okay. let's, get, let's get rid of what we should be getting rid of. So at this time of the year when people say I'm cutting my carbs, no cereal, no rice, no this, no that. Well, those yes. are all sources of fiber. We don't want to cut You those need some out. fiber. We yes. Do. So at least a fifth sized amount on the plate. And so okay. that fiber coming from oats or bran cereals, bread, rice, and even fruits and vegetables. So yes, not okay. to the exclusion of all else, but we need some as part of every meal. I like brown rice and apples. Okay, we're good so far. All right. All right. <laughs> Second one is having enough vitamin D. Now, some people have low vitamin D levels and that yes. might indeed weaken the gut. And so if levels are low, you take a supplement. But there are also foods that have vitamin D. So for instance, there is vitamin D in milk. There is, There yes. is vitamin D in the egg yolk, not the white. So when Really? Yolks, I did not know that. If the yolks go down the drain, it's like bye-bye to the D. So we have to be eating the whole egg. That's where the And then is. because of where we're located kind of in the country, we're north, so we don't get as much we're sunlight. Not, I don't know. So Based we upon need... our weather forecast, we might not see it until <laughs> July, right? It's like, yikes. Yeah. Lots of vitamin D we need. Sardines are another one that will okay. do that. And then vitamin A is also critically important for the health of the gut. Yes. So we're talking about D deep green or deep orange. So mm. deep orange sweet potato or carrots okay. or even kale. I would not put this in a smoothie. That so does not appeal to me, but I like to saute it in a pan. So you got to do it in a smoothie. Spinach. I would, I would yeah. do that because, uh, yeah. Okay. And then spinach. I like spinach. So that's very good too, right? And it is. <laughs> and these are great ways to really help to shore up the gut. Yes. We also know that people who have low iron levels might indeed have a gut that doesn't function the way it should. So sources of iron, we have lentil, yes. we have various types of meats, and any of these work. The dark meat of poultry is what has the iron in it, not so much the white meat. You learn something yeah, new see, every day. The dark meat of poultry. The dark meat. The dark meat. Really? Has more iron. The white meat, not so much. And then we should do the lean red meats, right? Like not too much. Well, these are, and these are, so we're looking at right. it's a very, very lean cut of beef. You know, just this bit of fat on the pork can be trimmed off. And look how lean that is. This yes. works very, very well. And interestingly, even something like hemp seed, it's very high in iron. That could go into the smoothie. Okay, yes. A little bit into smoothie. Or lentils, chickpeas will work. So all these things are really things we should be doing more. Probiotics, maybe, but probiotics alone, without any of this, now that's like the band-aid. We really need to be I doing see. all these things. And the other interesting thing is showing that people who exercise strenuously that may be dehydrated, so not having enough fluid before that intense CrossFit or treadmill workout, yes. that might also have an impact on weakening that gut. So we have to do all these right things to do that core training. Stay hydrated. Eat the right foods, fruits, veggies, 
veggies, lentils, lean meats, chickpeas, dairy, vitamin D, and then possibly the probiotic. Possibly a probiotic, bringing the stress down and keeping the alcohol to a minimum. That doesn't mean none, but it also doesn't mean a carafe. we got to do it the right way. <laughs> a carafe. All right. <laughs> Leslie, thank you so much. For more of Leslie Bonchi's Healthy Living Tips, watch her Winning Plate segments here on PTL and check out her website. You'll find that link at kdka.com slash PTL.